Yeah, what's wrong? Kids will be back with an adventure. Don't get away with the road. No cap, road for if we're doing no cap. The road warning ain't accident prone area. It's an accident prone area. Okay. There is an infamous road in my town. Three people died driving on this road within a few months. Damn, RIP. All of them were driving alone at night. Well, then all kinds of rumors started to spread all over. Rumors like the follower of Satan summoned a devil on the road, or a killer appears on the road every rainy night, and so on. I always thought that they were just exaggerated gossip, and I brushed them off. That was until I passed the road one day. Did your dumbass go on it? I happened to pass that road. Although I started to get goosebumps from the creepiness as I saw the road from a distance, I deliberately played upbeat music and danced with my shoulders. <laughs> However, what the it fuck? even started to rain. Oh, I don't know. I'm turning around. Talk to myself. Shit. You'd think I'd be scared. Feeling the chills down my spine, I speeded up to pass the road as quickly as possible. Then, I saw a man standing in the middle of the road. I hit the brake hastily. The man reflected in the light, slowly walked toward me from the middle of the road. I rolled my window down and shouted, Don't you know this is a dangerous road? The man approached me and looked into every part of my car. That would have drove off. two miles ahead and said, Would you mind driving me there? Don't do it. I asked, Is something there? He replied, Hurry. We will die if we stay on this road. Nigga, I would have been drove. strange, but he had the look of an innocent man. However, his eyes looked like they were filled with blood, and his teeth were all broken or missing. You an idiot if you let the nigga I asked him if he was hurt, and he replied he was all right. I told him I'd drive him downtown, but he kept saying that all he needed was to go a bit forward from here. I picked him up and started You're driving. You're an idiot. I kept asking him what had happened, but he looked at my face without saying anything. But all of a sudden, he grabbed my head and You're slammed it on the steering wheel frantically. Why would you let this nigga in your car? And, and the car spun to a stop with a loud sound of a screeching tire. He crazily slammed my You're head, and as stupid. soon as the car stopped, he jumped out of the passenger seat and ran away at full speed. My head was all over the place for a moment because of the extreme pain, but soon after, I called the police. That's when I finally realized the place he started to attack me was the spot where every accident happened. He purposefully attacked me to crash the car into a guardrail. However, fortunately, I hit the brakes and turned the steering wheel to a right angle so the car did not crash. I told the police everything he did and he was arrested. He kept denying his wrongdoings, saying that he had only asked for a ride, but eventually he was imprisoned. Although a few years have passed, don't let no be in your fucking remember crib. Like, yo, wait, you're so stupid, bro. My head with I'm not gonna lie, anybody that lets a random nigga in their crib like that, I mean, they, and they, help, and they fucking whip like that, especially in that situation, you're fucking Force. retarded and you deserve and what to happen. I'm not gonna lie, it's just foolish. I start panting. Use again. your brain, bro. If my car crashed into the guardrail that day, I might have never woken up. 